Hello Interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, I've got a Dell XPS here, uh, which has no power. Uh, so we plug in the charger. We have got a light on the charger when it's plugged in, and the light doesn't go out. Uh, however, when you push the power button, nothing happens. So the laptop appears to be stone dead. So uh, let's get this back cover off, and we'll have a look inside, and we'll see how far we're getting. Okay, right. I've been in one of these recently and I didn't have a lot of luck with it. Let's see if we can break the curse. So I've disconnected the battery and connected the charger. And we're just going to start questing around with my multimeter in voltage mode. And just see what we can find. Let me just arrange this to a point where we can see everything. Again, DC jack is in the way of everything. Uh, okay, let's start at the top. So I'm going to go, let's go all the way around the back here. So black probe on ground, and we're going to check that we've got power coming in. Yeah, there's 19 and a half volts going into the motherboard. So far, so good. So now I'm just going to start touching around on uh, any inductors that I can see, and just seeing what's there. So we've got 13.65 volts there. That's a bit of a random number. That's going to be around the charger. Same 13.65 up here as well. That must be our main power rail. Not finding much of anything else. I'd like to find like a, a 5 and a 3.3 .3 volt rail or something like that. Okay, if I unplug that, I'm going to look at what our resistance to ground is. I don't think we have a short circuit anywhere, but let's just see what we've got. Gather more information. So we've got like nearly... Ugh, let's try that again. So we've got like, yeah, 700k ohms across the DC jack. No worries there, obviously. That battery charger's got millions on it. So this was the same as the battery charger, so presumably that's... Alright, it's got less than the battery charger had, but that's still like 220k on it, so... No short circuits on that power rail, whatever it's doing. Um, I'm just going to open this up and try just try powering it up with the battery and the memory disconnected and just see what it does. If it does anything. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm just grasping at straws, trying things, seeing if anything happens. Power. Power. Nope. Nothing seemed to happen. Have we got any warm spots anywhere? Gonna take this off and have a look at what's under this bit of plastic because that's gonna be like the inrush limiter and stuff like that. Might have some interesting stuff underneath it. Well, it's got does have some stuff under it. I don't know if any of this is really useful to me. I think most of the power is going on on the other side of the board. I think we're going to need to take the motherboard out to really get a look at this. So I'm going to pull out from there 
And I'm going to take the motherboard out. Okay, the bag yields some interesting results. We've got a um, uh, we've got a BIOS battery over here, um, so we'll try taking that out. Um, we've also got the power button and uh, battery indicator LEDs, and also I think we've got our five and three point three volt regulators up here as well. So we've got some more power that we can check. I'm currently just extracting the um, uh, DC jack so we can plug the charger into it. Right, and we've got a separate soundboard here, so I'm going to remove that just so I can see what's on the other side of it because I think the power related stuff that I was looking for will be there. Oh, no, I was completely wrong. There's nothing of interest underneath that. Just the HDMI stuff. Oh, that's very boring. Nope, oh, okay, I'm going to put that back on. Okay, BIOS battery is disconnected. Uh, I'm going to leave that for a minute, and we'll just see if it see if anything comes of that. It has been a few minutes. Bam, bam, and bam. Ah. The power light came on for a few seconds there. I don't know if you guys saw that. What happens if I push it? And was it doing that before and I didn't notice? Well, pushing the power button does nothing. I'm just going to unplug and replug the charger and see if it does that again. No, didn't do it again. Fine. Okay, let's go back to checking measurements and see if uh, we've got anything appearing on these regulators in the bottom right of the screen. Okay, there's our 5 volt rail, that's up. And there's our 3.3 volt rail, that is also up. All right, so good. We found our secondary rails, and those are fine. So <clears throat> nothing to see there. Uh, let's flip the board over and see if the main power rail has changed at all after fiddling. And check that on this capacitor where we saw it last time. That's still sort of thirteen point six ish. So yeah, again, that's still a, a bit of a weird value. Well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's just what VN is at on these laptops. Uh, so let's have a look around here. I'm just looking for anything, really. Five volts going into that chip. That's Thunderbolt, I think. Uh, 
Well, we seem to have power everywhere it's needed. Got a one volt regulator down there. Uh, I'm going to try plugging in the battery and just see if oh, the charge light isn't connected at the moment, so we're not going to see anything of that ilk. Let's try giving it some RAM. Ah, we've got a light after plugging in one stick of RAM. Was it just RAM this whole time? Hold up, power off. Uh, Alright, I think this might have been as simple as RAM. I was going for board repair stuff, but I actually think it might have been that easy. Let's quickly get this fitted into the laptop so we can actually start that up with the uh, with stuff connected to it. I'll be very happy if it's that easy. I haven't had much luck with repairs to date. And if it's a nice easy one, I will take that to the bank. Right, I've got the screen connected. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I'm not going to plug anything else in. I'm just going to see if we get any output to the display. Yeah, we have a power light on the power button. I'm going to wait. Okay, the power light just went out again. Now it's come back on. I'm going to just see if that I'm going to let that power cycle a couple of times just to see if it comes back to me. I'm going to stick another screw in the motherboard just so that doesn't fall out. Hey! Alright. It lives. Okay, so. Uh, let's power this off again. Power out. So, now I'm going to put the other memory module in. And do the same thing. And we'll see if it works. There's two possibilities that I'm working with at the moment. Either A, this memory module is faulty, or B, we've brought it back to life just purely by uh, either the BIOS reset, because we disconnected the battery, or just because we've taken it all apart and put it all back together again. And it's there's a lot of mileage in just simply taking it apart and putting it back together again. Um, it doesn't very often work, but every now and then you'll get a victory just by virtue of the fact that you took it all apart and put it back together again. And there was a loose connection or something somewhere that you fixed. Alright, power on again. See if it posts straight away or if it takes a couple of minutes to come back up. There we go. Good. Power off. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, I guess I'll sit down again and reassemble this thing. Ugh. Well, this has been a bit of an odd repair. We haven't really fixed anything. We've just fiddled with it and it's come back to life. But. This is why it's worth just fiddling with stuff, even if you've got no idea what you're doing. Um, because now and then you'll just get lucky. Um, and one could argue that, to a, to an extent, like, uh, if I have successfully fixed this, I'll still charge for this repair. Um, because... I was still the one who dug into the laptop and took it apart and did whatever it was need whatever it needed to hear. Um, so don't feel guilty about getting a lucky fix or a you know or a lucky break because it was still you who actually 
took the effort to try for that. If you take a shot in the dark, you were still the one that shot in the first place. Um, whereas the owner did not take that shot in the dark because that required taking the laptop to pieces, which they didn't want to do, which is fine. That's what they're paying me for. So, however, conversely as well, um, I will have to warrant, if I'm going to charge for this repair, I also have to warranty it. So if the laptop dies again, uh, I'm obligated to look at it again free of charge and fix it again free of charge, or I would have to refund them the original money that I've charging them for this fix. So as I say, there are, uh, it, that e there are limitations to that. However, it don't matter if you win by an inch or a mile, winning's winning. Watch it not work when I put all of this back in and make me look the fool. I'm going to be super bold and put the back cover on. I'm not going to screw it on. I'm just going to place it on just so I can set the laptop upright and everything. And all right, we should be able to actually boot up now. Good, that is booting Windows. Well then, we're done here. So not the most satisfying repair because we didn't really pinpoint anything specifically wrong with it. However, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna title this as a troubleshooting video. So if you've got a Dell XPS that is just stone dead like this one appeared to be, um, I've kind of demonstrated how to open it up, take it apart, remove the memory modules, remove the BIOS battery, stuff like that. And hopefully you'll get lucky like I have here and just one or more of those things will just shake it free. I'm not sure which, which it was there. I reckon if I had to guess, I would say it was the CMOS reset by removing that CMOS battery. Um, because after removing that, when we plugged it in, we momentarily had a power light. Uh, however, it didn't work the first time because I hadn't put the memory modules back in. So if I had to guess, it was the BIOS reset that did it. So, hope that was interesting for all of you. Stick around for the end card. All of my support links are there. They're also all down below, including the link to my Discord server. Uh, big thanks to my Patreon supporters as well. See you in the next video. Bye.